Hello mate and welcome back to this exciting episode of Render Review issue number 9. For those of you who are interested in submitting your images for my review, please feel free to visit thundorn.com where you can find a guide on how to do exactly that. Before I get started with anything else, a huge thank you to everyone for subscribing and hitting that notification icon. That really helps me out. And of course, an even bigger thank you to my members and patrons. Your names will be running across the screen at the end of the video. Incidentally, if you are interested in supporting the channel, feel free to visit the Patreon in the description down below. Or you can become a member of the channel by visiting the join link next to the subscribe link underneath this video. So today's first submission is from... Ron Stringfellow, as you can see here, two characters having a little walk and having a conversation with each other. It's uh, it's a good render, a very good render. I'm, I would be very happy with this if I were Ron. Um, I like what he's done in post with the re streams of light, the god rays, they're nice and uh, visible. Um, if anything, you could probably afford to turn them down a little bit more. Less is definitely more in these cases but um you know it's good effort mate well done for that one so as you can see when you've got two characters walking alongside each other having a conversation just like in real life they very rarely actually look straight at each other because they're normally concentrating on not falling over now of course doing that in the jungle it's even more important to kind of be looking where you're going so the fact that these two aren't actually looking directly at each other is um, i would say arguably accurate i like what he's done with the hair he's posed it so that it looks like she's turning her head quickly maybe there's a bit of a breeze or something in the forest as well which is causing it to sort of waft over to one side and the light sources behind the characters is kind of backlit them so the light source is coming from up here and the same direction as the god rays again it's accurate you could probably afford to add a little bit more light into the shadows only because the background is quite bright and colorful and with the muted colors on the character's skin and the dark shadows, the background kind of stands out a little more than the characters do. I appreciate that this is an HDRI. You've used the HDRI for your main light source, but there's no harm in putting a mesh light somewhere kind of in this direction just to give a little bit more lift in the shadows so that the characters stand out. Likewise, another thing that we can do to make the characters stand out a little bit more is add some of that depth of field in the background. It hasn't got to be overpowering so the background is completely blurred, but having just a little bit of depth of field so that the background is slightly blurred and the characters are nice and sharp will of course enable you to make them stand out a little bit more. Other techniques we can use is perhaps put a vignette, which would mean putting sort of dark shadows in the four corners like so, so that the center of the image the eye is drawn more towards the center of the image again overall it's a really nice render though it's nice and sharp there's i like the styling the hair is a little bit kind of it's got kind of a painted feel to it which is nice i assume that's um part of the hair product nice and sharp good lighting from behind a nice bit of post work done there mr string fellow so overall really good render i hope you're proud of that one because uh, you should be Next up, we've got a render from Jeff Penver. Now, as you can see, we've got a nice young lady standing outside making a pose to the camera. So this kind of has a feel of perhaps a kind of holiday snap or the sort of thing that someone would upload to their social media profile. What we've got here is an image where I can tell that this stuff back here is part of an HDRI, but it's very difficult to tell whether this bench and this bench are part of an HDRI or if they're part of a set. So we would have a combined HDRI and a set. I'm guessing that it's all an HDRI because the seam seems to be very difficult to spot if there is an HDRI merged. Normally it would be somewhere kind of like here around these bollards. But it's very difficult to tell because the line here and the line here are perfectly in alignment. It looks very much like it's an HDRI with ground turned on so that you get a bit of a shadow behind her. But again, at the end of the day, if you've managed to pull off an HDRI shot that doesn't appear to immediately be one, as in you can't tell the difference, then you've done a really good job as far as I'm concerned. So we've got our main light source coming from down in this direction up here which is creating this nice kind of contour around this arm. What you could possibly do 
is have another light source behind the character somewhere around here just to create a nice highlight down this side of the body as well and that would just make her pop a little bit more maybe even having a light source in front of her just maybe above some kind of beauty dish from the front and above round about here would keep the shadow underneath her chin and underneath her bust nice whilst giving us a little bit more contour on the face and the muscle tone of the arm and the body but again it's not a bad image by any stretch of the imagination i really like it it's nice and clear really well done there good effort the dress is obviously a deforce dress and it's draped really nicely there's no poke through that i can see and overall really solid now the difficulty you have with using an hdri if that is indeed the case is that adding depth of field is very difficult now you can see the hdri itself does have a little bit of a depth of field to it but what we have here is that there's a very very sudden drop off the foreground stays in focus right up to the point where you have these bollards and then all of a sudden it's blurred which means that it could be an hdri in the background there or it could be that you've applied a blur in post and you've cut out these bollards and kept them sharp in focus and then blurred everything in the background either way someone like myself who's looking at it can spot it but the average person looking at this image probably isn't going to notice that to be honest overall it's a really strong image and you should be really happy with that so good effort thanks very much for the submission last up we've got a submission from someone who submitted a couple of times before and has always produced really solid results is i ishikawa as we can see another young lady i believe we've already seen an image of this character once before in one of his previous images um his or her i don't honestly know i'm not familiar with names from the far east so i couldn't possibly say but um either way really solid image like this character a lot and as you can see what we've got here is a really strong light source coming in through the door like that which is creating a really nice highlight down the front like so and then we've got a really nice shadow underneath the model and the back arm is hidden from view which is giving us the illusion that she's sitting on the table we can't see any poke through we can't see any clipping so yeah it's really good way of adding a little bit of dimension to the character and making it look like they're actually sitting on the surfaces by hiding the surfaces that are actually in contact and using shadow to your advantage really nice contact with the character's hand on her thigh there and the dress obviously a deforce dress is draped really well again i can't see any poke through or clipping so really solid in that regard post-production wise we've got a really nice dust effect which is really really good really effective we've got this candle here as well which as you can see is creating a really faint highlight down the back of the character there i don't know if that's intentional i don't know if that's even an effect that was deliberately put in there um, or if it's just because the light on the background is shining through the hair or something like that but again it all adds to a really effective looking image and this really is a demonstration of how less is more all you've got is a character sitting on a table near a door there's not too much in the way of flashy effects going on in the background there's a little bit of dust particle effect added in post characters making good eye contact with the camera and that this really simplicity is great in this in this instance it just makes the image look so effective and there's nothing to confuse the viewer's eye you know exactly what you're supposed to be looking at in this scene and the way that the depth of field and the lighting has been created actually makes it very easy for your eye to look straight at the character's face which is precisely what we want them to do so another really strong submission there from Aishikawa. so thanks ever so much for submitting that once again awesome work and you should be very proud of it okay guys so that wraps it up for this episode thank you ever so much for watching let me know what you think in the comments below go and visit thundorn.com if you want to submit your own images the instructions are there and i'm also going to be adding a gallery to thundorn.com of all previously added submissions um presuming that they fall within what i would say um <laughs> reasonable guidelines hasn't got to be as family friendly because it's not on youtube but even so there are limits to what i will put in the gallery but most submissions will make it into that gallery thanks ever so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one but until then you take damn good care of yourselves all right bye bye